More and more women are saying their breast implants are making them sick. They're calling it breast implant illness. A local woman is among them and now desperately wants to warn others about what happened to her and how she says that illness took over her life. Joy's here now with us. Joy, you know this woman. Yes, Kent Mary. She's an old family friend who contacted me out of the blue, really, because she has a message that she says she has for those thinking about having breast implant surgery for cosmetic reasons or even for reconstruction after a battle with cancer. Julie McCarthy said she had the surgery for both reasons. When I sat down with her, she was so excited she was having explant surgery, having her implants taken out. Here I am. It's not often you'll find someone this excited about having surgery just minutes before going under the knife. July 29, 2019. Julie McCarthy celebrating the day her breast implants were removed. I actually think this is the first surgery in my life, but I'm excited. Can't we? She blames them for a litany of ailments she's suffered since February. Fatigue, hair loss, brain fog, joint inflammation and soreness, and short-term memory loss. I couldn't walk a normal block around our block because I would be so out of breath, and I would honestly be weak. That meant I couldn't really walk my kids in their strollers even. Even if I was just pushing them, it was tiring me out. Five years ago, Julie was pregnant when she says she was diagnosed with a hereditary type of breast cancer. It was a tough fight, which included a mastectomy, but she beat it and gave birth to a healthy baby girl. Yes, when you... It was this past February, Julie decided she wanted breast reconstruction. I'm young, I'm 38 years old. I wanna have a normal body if I can. And it's out there and then my, of course my insurance covers it, so why not? She says that's when her symptoms started and hit hard. The most debilitating were the extreme exhaustion and joint soreness, which she said her doctor dismissed. You're tired and I was told I had to exercise. I have Lyme disease, I have fibromyalgia. I just knew there was something wrong. I just didn't know what. And I was just believing the doctor was like, okay, well then it just must be that. A lot of the symptoms are poo-pooed by medical practitioners and, and women be, think that they're crazy. They're not crazy. Dr. Scott Ackerman doesn't know the specifics of Julie's case, but the medical director of Ackerman Cancer Center says breast implant illness is not only real, he says women are finding relief after having their implants removed. I see many women report to me that they have less symptoms after that surgery than they had before. Now again, what I'm saying is purely anecdotal. We really need science to back that up. The problem? Governing health authorities like the FDA are still investigating these symptoms to better understand their origins and don't recognize BII as an illness, in part because many of the symptoms also describe a dozen different kinds of autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, even type 1 diabetes. Some women get these symptoms immediately after an implant. Some get the symptoms many years later from an implant. And the symptoms that women get kind of wax and wane, so it's really hard for us to get a handle and really get our arms around what this illness really is. As Julie searched for answers, she found others like her. Take a look at this Facebook page titled Breast Implant Illness and Healing by Nicole. It's a private support group of 90,000, mostly women, with story after story of debilitating symptoms. Symptoms so many say all but disappeared after having explant surgeries. All right, touch pearls, wave. As she's wheeled into the operating room, Julie is convinced her symptoms and suffering will subside. Of course, when she so she can enjoy quiet moments like these. Oh, she'll ask for some balloons. I mean, I feel like it's really robbed me. I I feel like I've lost a lot with my kids, with my husband. I mean, I've missed out on family trips. I've missed out on a lot because of my just fatigue for so long.